you know, I think we're doing pretty good as far as the elbow test goes in here. This travel trailer is the Jayco J Feather model number 171BH. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,930 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,065 pounds, for a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,995 pounds. It measures in at 20 feet 2 inches long and it can sleep up to 5 people. When you first walk into this camper, you'll notice that the owner's bed is off to the right-hand side. Right next to that is a four-person dinette table. Across from that's the kitchen. And then you've got your bunk beds in the back, along with a nice big bathroom. So towards the front of this RV, you'll notice that it's got a nice big, I think, full-size bed in here. It's 54 inches by 80 inches long. So it is a full-size full-size bed, I guess we could say. Uh, Jayco does a really nice job with these dark cabinetry with the black glass inlay doors. You open these up and you'll notice that you have tons of storage space up there. Also, you'll notice right behind me here is where the TV is located. And it's a great spot because you can see it while you're laying in bed and you can also see it from the dinette table very, very well. Uh, on the other side here, you've got a nice big window. And then there's also a tower of power here, which includes two receptacles, two USB ports, and then you've got a little ledge up top. You can put your tablets, phones, CPAP, whatever you need up there, and charge them overnight. Down below the bed, Jayco has changed up the way that they create storage under here. So they have these neat little things that you pull out and lids pop up and there's plenty of storage inside of there. You can also use it while you're sitting on your dinette and you can extend your legs out and use it as a footrest. So the dinette in here right next to the bed can seat four people. It might be a little bit tight. Uh, the table's really not long enough and neither are the benches, but you could squeeze in here if you really wanted to. Up above, you'll notice that you have more storage cabinet with the black inlay glass and the darker cabinetry. A really nice big window right by the dinette. The table, by the way, will drop down and create another bed in here. And then underneath both of the dinette benches, plenty of storage. Just across from the dinette, you'll notice that you have the kitchen in here. And the first thing that I notice when I look at this kitchen is that it's got a white cabinetry. So you have two-tone cabinetry inside of this camper, a very nice upgrade feature inside a small camper. The living and bedroom areas are the darker, and then you've got the lighter white cabinetry out here. Uh, also come with black inlay doors, lots of storage up top. The microwave in here is actually a convection microwave, so you can bake and microwave inside there. Down below, they chose to go with a three burner cooktop. I really feel like they could have gone with a two burner, which would be set front to back. And if they had done that, it would create more countertop space in here. But a three burner stove, I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you like that or not. Uh, the kitchen sink in here is rather shallow. I wish it were deeper, but at least it does come with a cover. And that sort of expands your countertop space in the kitchen. Of course, you've got a window over top and they've done a nice job with this. I'll call it peel and stick backsplash. It's very lightweight but it looks like subway tile. So nice way to handle that. Underneath of the kitchen sink, you've got ample storage. You've also got a couple nice drawers for kitchen utensils and pots and pans. Next in line, we have the refrigerator, which has built-in cabinet panels on the door. So it looks like it's all cabinetry. It's a very nice residential look and a decent sized refrigerator, very big freezer in a small camper this size. And then down below the fridge, there's another large deep drawer for even more storage. So towards the very back of the trailer, you have two bunk beds back here. So this camper can sleep five people, two in the bed, one in the dinette, two more in the bunks for a total of five. The top bunk has its own window, light, receptacle, and USB port. Down below, it has all the same except for a really neat feature. The bottom bunk actually flips up there's a door outside the camper. You could roll things in like bikes or larger storage items. And even when the bunk is down, they have this mesh netting here so you can store things under the bunk and this will hold them in place. So here I am in the bathroom and of course I'm standing in the shower. Now this shower has a 14 inch step up and over to get into it, which is really high up. And it sort of takes away from your headroom inside the shower. So inside the shower, you only have a total of six feet 
and maybe six inches in here. So not too bad, I guess. The corner has three shelves in here for soap bars, shampoo, conditioners, all that good stuff. And even though this has a sort of shower curtain, it's framed in and it glides along a track which actually rolls out and away from the shower, which is a very good design. So you won't have a shower curtain blowing in on you while you're taking a shower. Now outside here, you've got a really extra large medicine cabinet. Down below that, you have a very large sink, lots of countertop space, open storage on the right side, and more storage under the sink on the left. As far as the elbow test goes, not gonna work on this side because the door would be shut, but on the other side, you have plenty of room. Outside this camper at the very front, you have this very large pass-through storage area. This travel trailer is the Flagstaff E-Pro E19FD model. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of just 3,167 pounds. It's got a cargo carry capacity of an impressive 1,151 pounds for a total gross vehicle weight rating of 4,318 pounds. And it measures in at just 20 feet, two inches long. So when you first walk into this camper, you walk right into everything. You've got your couch on the right hand side, which also serves as a Murphy bed, kitchen straight ahead and dinette off to my left. Now, the first thing you'll notice here is that the couch is very plush and comfortable and it's actually a recliner too. Both sides pop out so you can sit back and relax. In the middle here, it has a flip out section with little cup holders built into it. So that's very, very convenient. Now, when you're not using this as a couch, it actually is a sort of a jackknife sofa kind of setup. And then you've got your Murphy bed behind it and you can pull this out. Just make sure the legs come out with it, lower it right down, and then it serves as a nice size bed. Now, I'm not sure exactly if this is a queen. It looks a little bit narrow. Let's find out real quick. Yeah, it's 54 inches wide. So it's gonna serve as a twin bed and uh, the length on it looks to be about 74 inches. So it's definitely gonna be a short twin size bed, but full size bed. I always get them mixed up, twin, full, I don't know, that's why I measure them. 54 inches by 74 inches, you decide what it is. Anyway, on each side of the bed area you'll notice that it has a wardrobe closet so you can hang things up. There's also a countertop area on each side of the bed and there's receptacles and USB ports so you can charge any electrical devices that you have or run a CPAP machine if you have one of those. Now, right across from the sofa and the bed area is the kitchen area. This has a nice inline kitchen and I really like this kitchen because of all the appliances that are in it. We'll take a look at those in just a second. The first thing you'll notice is on the end, you have an extendable countertop area to get some extra countertop space in here. It's got a nice big square, deep single bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet overhead, three burner stove, and then below that, it's got a full oven. So that's a really great feature to have. And then in addition to that, of course, you have drawers for all your kitchen utensils, and all that good stuff. There's also a drawer down below the oven. You can store pots and pans, things like that in there. Overhead, there's a nice big storage cabinet so you can store some food items up there. And then to the left of all that, you've got a refrigerator. Oh boy, which is a little bit on the small side, but for a camper this size, it's really not a bad size refrigerator at all. And then finally, you have your microwave. Now it's very unusual in a lot of small campers, especially to be able to find a three, a three burner stove, a separate oven and a microwave, but this has all three. So it's really, really a fantastic lineup of appliances in this small RV. Across from the kitchen area, you've got your dinette. And I would say, you know, two people can sit here comfortably. You're, I don't really feel like you're going to be able to get four people at this table at all, but it's got a nice big window right over top of the dinette table and then additional storage overhead. Just behind the dinette area is where the TV is mounted in here. And it's a small TV, but it's in a good spot because you can see it from the living room couch or if you're laying in bed or if you're sitting at your dinette. 
So here I am in the back of this RV, and the bathroom's pretty large because it runs side to side, so it's as wide as the whole trailer. I'm standing in the shower. There is maybe only an inch over my head, and as you know, I'm 5'11", so if you're taller than six feet, you're gonna have to crouch down in here to take a shower. The shower itself is a decent size. It has three corner shelves in here where you can hold your shampoo and soap and things like that. And one other thing to note is this also serves as a bathtub. It's got about a 17 inch step up and over to get into the bathtub. So it's a bit of a stretch if you have trouble stepping up and over things. Now, right behind me here, you have the vanity and medicine cabinet area. Medicine cabinet's a nice size, couple shelves builds in there. The vanity's very nice. You have a little bit of countertop space around it. There's even a receptacle here so you can plug in your hair dryer or electric razor or whatever. And then you have some storage down below. Finally, over top of the commode, there's this really nice big linen closet that's in here. You can store all your linens, toilet paper, whatever else you want to put in. The closet goes all the way back to the end of the camper, so it's wider than it appears. And then finally, when you're sitting on the commode, you know, ah, pretty good on the elbow test. Not bad at all. This travel trailer is the KZ Escape E18 hatch. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,460 pounds a cargo carry capacity of 760 pounds, and a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,220 pounds. It measures in at 22 feet long, and it can sleep up to three people. When you first walk into this RV, on the right-hand side, you have your living area and a bedroom. Then you have your bathroom in the center of the RV. Right across from that, you've got your kitchen. And then towards the back of this RV, this is where the garage is with a bed lift. So from the front door to my right is where the living area is. Now this doubles as a nice comfy living room. It also has a standalone dinette table that you can use here. Or you can take away the table and turn this sofa into a bed, which is also almost a queen size bed. It's about a short full size bed back here. So it's really multifunctional and it works out really great. You'll also notice You've got windows on three sides of this area. You've got receptacles back here so you can charge your phones while you're hanging out in the living room or sleeping at night. And then up above, you've got all this storage that goes from side to side all the way across. So when you turn this living room into a bed, you remove all of these cushions and they actually go in this area to make the bed, which opens up the area behind here where you've got plenty of storage, you can put your clothes back there. You have a little shelf or headboard here. One really, really unusual feature, I don't think I've ever seen this before, is they have cup holders built into the corner cushion. Just seems to me that would be a little unstable and you might spill your drinks if they're in here and this is a cushion and you're sitting around. I don't know, if you're calm, I guess it would be fine. If you're losing a game of cards like I would be to Susan and you're upset, you know, you might, you might lose your drink. One more really neat feature in the living area is this Furion Bluetooth speaker. So you can pull this thing out, take it outside. It matches up to your Bluetooth on your phone. You can play your music and it also doubles as a flashlight. The kitchen area is a good size kitchen and it's got a little bit of countertop space out here towards the end. They have this really nice cutting board which fits over top of this really big, deep, round, single bowl sink. In addition, it's got a gooseneck faucet overhead. I wish it had a sprayer on it, but it doesn't, but that's okay. And then they have a two burner range in here. One thing I wish they did differently was turn this range sideways. So you have a burner in the front and the back that would give you more countertop space. And if they move the sink over more, that would give you even more countertop space between your sink and your burners and i think that would make this kitchen much more usable let me know what you think about it in the comments down below also down below here there's storage underneath of the sink and lots of it which is really terrific and then the drawers are all built into this cabinet and i like these drawers i mean they're you can fully remove them so you know if you need to pull something out of here you can pull it up set it on the counter, get whatever you need. You know, you're not hunched over uh, trying to dig things out of your kitchen drawers all the time. But I really like the setup. They're all nice and easy to move in and out. And there's a little bit more storage underneath of the drawers as well. And then next to that, 
we have this really nice big pantry cabinet which is about two feet deep you could store tons of dry storage in there up above we have a standard microwave oven and even more storage space as we move towards the back of this trailer we are right across from the pantry that we just looked at and you'll notice that that's where the refrigerator is located nice big 12 volt fridge plenty of room inside of there for all your cold storage needs so the very back of this KZ hatch is where the hatch is located, which is a great feature. But the other really cool feature in here is the bed lift. So this bed can come down and you have a short queen bed for additional sleeping space back here. Another way that you can use this area is you can take your freestanding dinette table and on a rainy day, set it up back here, put a couple camping chairs in here with it, and you have another place to sit down and have a little dinette area. And then finally, this is a great storage area. There's a couple of D-rings down on the floor. So you could bring your bicycles up in here, tie them down, stow them, and that way when you're traveling down the road, you've got plenty of storage in the back of this trailer. So also back here, there's a little bit of additional cabinet storage on each side. It's got this little cabinet with, you know, a little shelf on top so you can store a few extra things back here. And then instead of having window blinds back here, they just have these neat covers and they just snap right into place. So you have some privacy. So here I am in the bathroom, which is in the middle section of this travel trailer. And of course, I'm standing in the shower like I always am. Now, you guys know I'm 5'11". There's about three to four inches over my head. So for you guys that are six, six foot three or taller, it's going to be a tight squeeze in here. This is a very basic shower. It's probably 36 inches by a little less than 24. It's got a little shower sprayer in here. But the one thing I really don't like about it is this shower curtain. I can just see myself in here taking a shower and the curtains all stuck to the side of me and everything and that would just not be a good morning for me. There's no uh, sink inside this bathroom but you can use the large kitchen sink to wash your hands. And finally, when you're sitting on the commode, you know, I think we're doing pretty good as far as the elbow test goes in here. Having a travel trailer with a rear hatch is really a great feature to have. For one thing, if it's a rainy day, you can sit out under the hatch and relax and stay out of the rain. The other nice thing is it's got these screens built in so you can close the screen and stay bug free. And finally, you can store all your toys in here. It's like a little mini toy hauler. Hey guys, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you won't miss any of our videos. And if you'd like to check out some more trailers with no slides, click the box on your screen and you'll be able to see our video called Three Campers Without Slides, where we really feature how to maximize space and campers with no slides. See you in the next video.